So hello everyone, it is your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna get into the Glam Light Dirty Martini Palette. Now I told y'all I was gonna do individual videos on all these and one of you all asked me to do it so I'm trying to make sure I get all of them done today on this Saturday since I gotta go back to work tomorrow. So here we are on our third video of today. This is the Dirty Martini Palette. We open it up just in case you forgot since it has been a long time since I reviewed these. I think it's been over a month. Don't quote me. Um, this is what she looks like on the inside. And this, like I told y'all when I first saw it, it gave me Smoke Session vibes for real. But I did the comparisons on my Instagram. If you're curious about the comparisons to this and Smoke Sessions, I kind of wanted to do a battle of love. But once I went like closer up, it doesn't have a lot of the darker, grungier ones or the gold ones that Melt had. So I was like, I'd only be able to do an all blue look. I can still do it if you want. Especially since the holidays is coming up and Melt is currently having a little bit of a Black Friday sale before it comes up. But I don't remember seeing Smoke Sessions on there. So I don't know if I should or not. Let me know down below how you feel about it but this is what she looks like i'm gonna go ahead and off camera if i remember correctly i combined this palette with the what's the other palette um the margarita palette which i just got done filming the individual video for so i'm going to go ahead and um go off camera figure out what i'm doing my life as far as this palette and zoom in now so i gotta come back and do it and i will see y'all in a few minutes what i look okay okay so this is what i decided to do so i just put the shimmer all the other crease like it was a glitter liner and then I used a lighter shade toward the top to dust. And then I put a matte all over it. Because like I've said before, I'm not really big on their shimmer. So this is what the full finish eye looks like. My eyeliner isn't looking super great. But you know, y'all know I'm still practicing when it comes to eyeliners. So don't judge me too hard. So I started off with, I'll show you what shades I used. So I used on the rocks in the inner corner. I used um, Classic as the shade to dust. Of course, y'all know I had to use Gin because it's my shade. We have to shade mix it up all over the lid. I didn't use too many shades in this palette today, but I feel like um, I've used, this is only my second time using the palette, believe it or not, y'all, I didn't get to use it a lot. I've actually been enjoying the wine one the most, so that's the one I was using the most, but I mean, like, really surprised I live for a um, purple moment, and I guess because I like smoke sessions, I have smoke sessions, I think that's why I wasn't as drawn to this one. Because all those smoke sessions is like smaller curated. I know I like the shimmers in that. And I know I um have a lot of the colors that are in here and there. Or if not in other palettes. Because because I love greens, blues, and purples so much. I would obviously have a lot of the weird colors that are in this palette. So I haven't really reached for this one as much as I thought I was going to. But I mean I knew I was going to reach for the purple one. And I figured this one would be second. And yeah this is definitely second. Because I did a purple look. With the palette after I did the videos initially with the wine palette and then I left them sitting here because I had to do these videos so here we are so I started off with the shade classic just because I usually don't start off with um the shade I'm dusting over first I usually go in afterwards so I was like let's try something different and try it beforehand like I see a lot of other people doing so that's what I did today so we dusted that one now I love this little brush from makeup by Ariel so I just took it and that's how I made the winged eyeliner shape in my crease so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the shade Gin and we're going to start right from the front of the eye right here. And then I just kind of really drew in our crease and try to draw a little bit higher. So it'll still be like somewhat visible when my eyes closed like I did recently with the, um, what's it, Tropical Vibes palette from, um, Ace Beauté. Every once in a full moon I do like this type of look. That's because I do find it fun sometimes. When I feel like being super extra, that's when I usually like, yes, we're going to do it like this. But with that one, I switched it up and I did matte. I usually do glitter just because I like to have a glitter line in my crease. Because I feel like it looks interesting as opposed to, you know, a matte one. But I'll do either depending on how I feel. So I'm just going to grab this to the outer V a little bit. I did that on the other side, but I ended up getting it covered up with the black. Eyeliner, as you saw, and this side can be covered up like that too. But since I started off on that side, I feel like I'll just keep both sides the same, and then we'll just put the black line on top of this. One. So, yeah. So now we have shaped the eye with the nice shimmery shade. Now I'm going to go into the shade and mix it up and just start patting it all over the lid. Try to make sure to get somewhat in the inner corner, but not fully, because remember we put in the shade 
on the rocks in the inner corner. You don't need too much. And I tried to get it close to the lower lash line without getting this color like in my um, lashes. Not that you'd be able to tell because I'm going to put mascara on and all that. Yeah. And I felt like the opacity just was actually pretty nice when I patted it all over the lid. I don't feel like it's like a whole bunch of sheen where you can see through the color even though I patted it all over the lid. So I was happy about that because I was concerned that, that was going to be an issue. <laughs> and it turned out not to be. I just went in and put like two layers on and I felt like I was fine for the most part. So I was like, you know, it's cool. It's good. Try patting it all along. And if I remember correctly, I just went back in with the shimmer one just to make sure like the shaping of it was nice and right and that it didn't rise too high above where I put the um, shimmer shade initially. So as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Now, um, I'm going to go into the inner corner shade. So we're going to take on the rocks now and pop it in our inner corner. As you can see, I've got a black pencil on the lower lash line to give this look more of a smoky effect, especially since the purple palette is next. I feel like we can use that for the smoky effect of that as well. So I just went ahead and did it with both. Just to, you know, make sure we already had somewhat lower lash line working. Then I'm just going to put more lower lash line stuff on there. So let's um, dust over this for the last time. And dust underneath here for the last time. And this is your finished eye look with the Dirty Mom TV palette. So this is one of my two favorites out of them. Like I told y'all in previous videos, if I had to pick, I would pick the wine one first, then the Dirty Martini, believe it or not. Then, believe it or not, the Chocolate Martini would come before that one just because it has this unique, fun, like, purplish shade in it and it has a lot of mauve. So y'all know when it comes to neutrals, I do like mauve. And then this one is lashes because they've done so many palettes like this before. So... I'm believe it or not, I'm filming them in the order in which I like them, and then I'm just gonna put them up in any random order. But I definitely say if you like bluish greenish palettes and you don't want to spend the price that um, Melt charges, because Melt's is 48 and you only get I think like eight shades. Whereas with this one, I'm trying to remember how much what these are. This was in the 30s range, and you can use code KH Makeup and then you get a discount on it. And then you know, it's a really nice palette. Plus Black Friday is coming up, and I feel like they're gonna have these on some kind of deal, hopefully, where you can grab it for a good price. Because I have to um, buy. Um, and for Jackie, the whole collection for Christmas. So, like, I'm hoping there's a good deal. And even if there isn't, it's still a really great palette. If you just want a palette like this for that way, when you want to reach into colors like this, I feel like this is great. So, those are my thoughts on the palette. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and this eye look. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.